friends, fans, and followers. Welcome back to another episode of Mrs. C's, Mrs. C's channel. Um, coming to you from the home office or the mobile office. <laughs> Mr. C has been on timeout from my channel, so it, welcome back. Timeout, what happened? <laughs> you are disruptive and distractive, or really? distracting. Yeah, you're yeah, disruptive and distracting. Who said that? <laughs> I said that. I said that. No, we've been busy going different directions. But we are not on our way to Florida, are we? Usually when you see us in the motorhome, it's on our way to Florida. But where are we at? Illinois. Illinois. Casey, Illinois to be exact. Home of 11 certified largest items in the world. Certified? Certified. I looked it up. Fact checked it. Largest mailbox. Largest rocking chair. Wind chimes, golf tee, teeter totter. Didn't know about that one. Um, wind chimes, key, gavel. A lot of random. A lot of random items. That's the home of the largest in the world. How many years we've we been coming over here? Several. Several years. Okay, so we're. It dirt bike season has arrived. It has arrived. So, Mr. C in our free time <laughs> are delivering the motor home. Um, and the goods over to Casey, Illinois, headed back home to work tomorrow. Mr. C has an auction on Friday. Hunter has practice, um, dirt bike practice. Hunter's the only one racing this year. So if you were with me from the beginning and saw um, some of the races last year, the qualifying for the national, um, the national race in Tennessee, Hurricane Hills, Loretta's, we're in staging right now at the gas station, FYI. So this is two hours away from home. I mean, it's just a just a nice Wednesday Wednesday um, drive. I mean, we're like out in the middle, honey. How long is this unit? Like 80 foot. 80 foot. So, what is it? 45 foot camper and 28 foot trailer? And then the yeah, gap I'm between. Yeah, I'm trying to drive it right now while you're talking to me. My bad. My bad. A good wife would have got out and told me how far to back up. I wish he had a good wife. I wish he had a good wife. That was a successful stop. You filled up um, the trailer with fuel. All by myself. Hey, no I'll help, thanks to you. <laughs> I backed it right in perfect. High five. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm such a disappointment. I'm glad you didn't get out though. <laughs> Why? Because I had some furniture you wouldn't like outside. Log furniture. I missed out. That's what you get for no, that. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Look at that. Um, look at those antlers. I wish. I, I wish. Pay attention next time. I, I know. I wish that. Um, can we get upset of those antlers? That was look so good next to it. Elijah. <coughs> we'll drive out through town and you can get a picture of the other stuff. All the big stuff? Yeah, the golf club, the rocking chair. Okay, that would be fun. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, but if we are in the camper right now, you might wonder how we're going to get home. If we said we're going home, we're dropping the unit. Bicycles. We're not riding bicycles. No, we're not. Right, well, we got a new two by two bicycle. We have a tandem bicycle. You know, that Kevin and to Today? Did you get that on film? I did. There's Oh, he was dragging the team down. That's at the new real estate that I alluded to last was it last week or two weeks ago on my channel. My riddle, my riddle um has come to fruition. Is it fruition? Fruition. And so Mr. C is gonna reveal that. When are you gonna reveal our new adventure? Okay, a couple weeks. So stay tuned for that on Mr. C's channel. Um, but hey, I got a, I got an insider scoop for my channel. Yeah, that's what I say. I mean, I'm a very exclusive channel, Mr. C. Exclusive. But I'm growing one viewer at a time. So thanks for joining. But here's what I got for you this week as for the insider scoop. New merchandise mind blown. All right. We found a vendor. Um, thanks to our friend DP. It's okay for you to say something, but I can't say anything. Huh? Well, that's because I, what do you mean? What do you 
I mean. She told me not to say anything. I want you. I don't. I didn't say that about that. Is it because you have a smaller number of viewers than me? I just said I have a smaller number because I'm an exclusive channel. Oh, it's kind of like an OnlyFans. <laughs> Except they don't have to pay subscription fee. Yeah. Oh. So. Um, and I actually was on the phone with a merchandise vendor on the way here. It's good. It's it's gonna. We're gonna slowly release new products, but we are bringing to you those sweatshirts. We are bringing to you extended sizes. We are bringing to you um, the the um, USA hat. If you remember that we took a vote, Mr. C has been itching, itching for that um, USA hat in the back in the front that's coming to you um the timeline i'm gonna i'm gonna give you is probably about a month out um i was giving him my introductory inventory levels so stay tuned uh, stay tuned here and i'll let you know when those are gonna go live but you're i have to give him the sneak peek mr the train. everybody likes to see trains okay uh -huh. you hear the train i I can't hear it over the camper. Oh. Um, but I'm gonna, okay, got it. But that, so that is exciting news. Now, some questions I know are gonna come. Are we gonna ship international? Eventually, yes. But we're gonna start with the um, you with the United States only because we want to make sure that we get all of everything ironed out as far as um, the process um, before we launch it to a couple of other countries. So don't give up on us. We'll get there eventually, right? Um, but those extended sizes, that's great news. And the USA hats, good news. High five. That's good. But today, what we're going to do, Mr. C might give us a little bit of information because I have a lot of viewers that have asked for more information on our motorhome and the, the trailer arrived. Yeah, this is the second trailer. How Our, our motorhome is going on its third, third year, right? Three years old? Yeah. Yeah. So, um... But this is going to be our second trailer. The first one we had some axle problems and it was never really set up the way that Mr. C wanted it for travel. You know what I'm most excited about with the trailer, honey? What's that? All the stuff we'll be able to haul home from the auction. Oh, yeah. 16 foot. Okay, the trailer is 28 foot long. So that 16 foot table that I missed out on this year not next year. I'm going with a list, a wish list. This would be packed, packed with um, competitors here in about 48 hours. They bought a dozer from us, didn't they? They sure did. Yeah, what size was it? Uh, 550J. Oh, what, last year or the year before? I think a couple years now. Yeah. They have a fleet of equipment, too. Of their own equipment, but... You Look said at the honcho. The what? Jeep truck. Yeah, I see it. Blue, too. No, they're still right in front of the bathrooms you can turn. They have um, like flush stations now instead of just porta pots. We're the first ones here. How many miles are on the motorhome? And so it's three years old. How many miles? Ready to hit 25,000. Almost 25,000. So we use it. Um, this is, I mean, we had fifth wheels. When we first got married, we had a sliding camper. Remember those days, honey? Oh, yeah. Yeah. A so we had a sliding... Time to work. Time to work. 
Oh. <laughs> I'm going to check out. I'm going to check out on them. Um, but we've had, yeah, the sliding camper first. That was fun. We like redid them and flipped them. And then we had um, fifth wheels after that uh, for many, many, many years. He's watching me. And then this is our first motor home. Like I said, it's about three years old. It's a super C. It's a Peterbilt. We'll get Mr. C's take on that here shortly. And maybe he'll he'll do a little walk around on the pros and cons. I'll do pros and cons on the inside. Um, but he'll do pros and cons on the outside. And then that the stacker trailer. Um, and everything that we can haul in that. I mean, I don't know if that's interesting to you or not. But I mean, that's what I got this week. We had vacation in Gulf Shores last week. We're in Casey this week, back and forth to Casey. And um, it's going to be a busy season with the new venture that we got coming down the pipe. Whew. It's a doozy. So every week, you just don't know what you're going to get on my channel. But I like that. I like variety. I hope you do too. And that's the real um, behind the scenes that my channel brings to the table. You don't usually need my help on this anyway. The boys are usually with us. No, I don't. That's why I want to go. <laughs> but instead, you got me. So this has got a side door. Escape door is what you call it, right? And this brand is an ATC trailer. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What were your problems with the ATC brand? Uh, all kinds of Axles. Axles missing line. I had a video on my channel. Oh, okay. Oh, you already did this? Okay. Okay, well, this is a refresher video, honey. Um, axles were missing line. There's just a lot of quality control issues. But it also could have been because it was during COVID. I'm tired of that excuse. That's a piece of junk. Don't be so harsh. Just say you prefer this brand. But this is Intec. This is made in what part of Indiana? Napanee. Napanee. There you go, right there. Do you need me to guide you? <laughs> but when he hits something, it's going to be my fault. Keep coming, keep coming. You're good. <laughs> but that's not all we got in there. Let's go in inside. We got the golf cart. And then we've got a lift up above. Oh, it's a full length lift, isn't it? The old trailer didn't come all the way back to the to the back. Two, this is two. Yeah, I was gonna say this is shorter. Yeah, it lifts longer. Power washer so that you can wash bikes between races. What brand is that? We got this from Menards. Yet to be proven. Dirt bikes. And. Attic storage. And then you just do the lift by this button, right? Yep. Yeah, but we've got the golf cart in right now, so we can't do that. Can't bring it down. Um, these, were these already in here? No, they come from Harbor Freight. Nice. So we got. So those were, you added. We did. We put the table over here, it folds out. Mm -hmm. So a little workstation. Yeah, we got cabinet device, air compressor built in. We got mini splits front and rear, so we got heat and air. We've got 80 gallons of water on board. We can hold 40 gallons of gas. You just, oh, but you only put 15 gallons in it. The Be water is pressurized for pressure washer. We got a winch in the floor for winching on dead vehicles. Uh -huh. What else we got? We got full thing of tools. We got... Harbor Freight, Snap-on, oh. Napa tools. Okay, you're not discriminating, all of them. 
not for something like this. Okay. So. Overhead, overhead bins and below bins. You can give them to her later. Yeah, I will, whenever the golf cart's out. out. Turn all the lights on. It's very nice. Uh -huh. It's all aluminum. And you can tell that the quality is better than the yeah. HEC. I mean, like that thing's three times as heavy as the other one, I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. This is all built up for the doors, the struts stay up. We got locks on. Uh, do you have awnings on the outside of it? Scott, yeah. Let's check it out. And this is aluminum, which the other one was like rubber matted. Or yeah, rubber. Didn't have to put that on there because you know how it kind of got tore up and stuff. Yeah. So. Air hose reel up there and an electric cord reel. Oh. Sonic comes out in like a white car. Uh huh. Got plugs. Outdoor this plugs. Outdoor plugs. This pulls out a step or a ramp. Yeah. Very useful. We got water hook up there. Oh, a little spigot. This is our mini split AC. Uh huh. It plugs into the camper. We got storage in there. there. Storage up there. Compressor up there in that compartment. Uh huh. I think the trailer probably weighs around 9,000 pounds empty because it's all aluminum. It's 28 foot long, 13 foot, 5 inches tall. This big is going to be lost. I know. I'm glad you have all the info. I don't. I did take it and got plates for it today and the title. So I know that the gross weight was 24,000. Yeah, but we won't probably ever have that in it. I mean, unless I buy a lot of stuff in for the auction. Okay. Um, would you give us a, just a quick overview of the outside and your pros and cons of the, the Renegade? Cons? Yeah, give us the pro cons. Anything that you would, on the outside. I'm going to go through the inside later. I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah. Um, We've had what, like zero problems, knock on wood, with it. Three so. years, and these are 25,000 miles. These are just built up better. It's on a full class 8 semi chassis, double frame. Super C. Nobody's gonna hear with all the wind. Super C. Super C. Uh huh. Um, double frame. Four, it's got uh, 34,000 pound rears. It's got a 16,000 pound front axle. But it's a regular full on semi chassis. 605 horsepower coming. What kind of semi? Peterbilt. What? <laughs> really? Is that your, I know, that's your brand of choice. With the blue, guys. The blue. Always the blue. I know, I'm happy with it. Yeah, and it drives like a dream, right? Did you fall out? Huh? I did. I, I lost my uh, ice. Yep, I did. It does drive very nice. Like, it's really windy out here and we didn't even tell it on the road. So. Uh-uh. No. Yeah. Uh, can you tell you're pulling, this, pulling that trailer? I mean, does it feel like a load? You can feel there's more weight back there, but like far as... Power? Power is the only thing a little bit, but it's not that great, so... Okay, but it's a smooth drive. Great. And what did you say? What, what was the motor? Uh, it's got a 15 liter Cummins on it, 605 horse, and a 13 speed auto ship. Okay. Nope, I don't, but my viewers might. Ah! Anything else you want to I mean, tons of under storage. We've got a uh, 12 5 kW generator back here. So we've got, we can power the trailer. We've got a 50 amp service for the trailer. We can plug it in. On that AC unit off this generator here. Oh, the other thing, this is, we don't have any propane, right? It's all diesel fired, so. Mm -hmm. So we go out west and we don't, ha we just are, um, what do you call that? Boondocking. Dry, dry dock. It's washed in there. Boondocking. Boondocking. But we're dry camping. And we can still run everything we need for what, yeah, three days? There's no propane, so it's got a diesel um, hot water heater that heats up furnaces, whatever. Um, everything's on diesel, so. Yeah. Generator's diesel. So yeah, we can stay self-contained for several days. So. And then this will generate the power for the camp or the trailer too. Yep. Got a cord, it comes, plugs in there, and it goes right into this compartment here. Mm -hmm. Which you said that Hunter needs to do, hook that up and start it as soon as we get here. 
Oh uh, yeah, because we got the refrigerators in there running. We got 110 volt stuff, so it's got runs on an inverter. We've mm -hmm. got solar panels on top of the roof that will keep the batteries charged up. So mm -hmm. you can, like, we've been out west and not started a generator for a couple of days, but it's all, I like to start it once a day. So. Just to keep it charged. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep. All right. Did you say that you're gonna take me through town and we're gonna show a few of the largest items? Quit talking. <laughs> It's going to get dark and nobody's going to see it. Okay. Oh, thanks for the help. Like, You're welcome. <laughs> and you wonder why you have to have timeouts for my channel. You wonder why. Huh? Hunter needs a rest. He's got school tomorrow and then he's got, then we're going to come back over and he's got practice on Friday. I'm going to get some of that footage also. I do really, really, really like this escape door because when it's raining and stuff, you can open that up and the boys can hang out in here with their dirt bike friends. It's kind of like a built-in awning. Are you going to do something? Yeah, I'm going to... Oh. It's a lot easier than the other one, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's like on spring. That's also another Harbor Freight um, cabinet. Yeah. Is that where the table used to be? Yeah. Uh, count on Mr. C to always have a modification. Always. But you move the golf cart back. A little bit more room to see the cabinetry. I mean, it looks very nice. Nicely made. It's a really nice step. That's also what I would say is a big difference. I mean, what that is probably about 18 inches, if not 20 foot step, um, versus the ATC trailer. See if you can see the 550 over there. Oh, there it's it is. Deer in the woods. Deer in the woods. I see it. They're redoing some jumps over there. Can you slow down or stop? Or not? You're just making everybody sick. our first certified item the largest certified barbershop pole that's right we're downtown Casey Casey now be on the lookout for other large items is there one down that way I'm think, I mean there's like 11 honey so there's gonna I'm be hitting all of them. no <laughs> is that light green I can't tell yep it's green Your eyes peeled, folks. I mean, they're the largest, so we shouldn't we shouldn't miss them. Oh, I see the peak of one over there. I think that's the wind chimes, like mm. over there. Stop sign. Stop sign. Stop. No, it makes for comments. <laughs> hey, safety first. I learned that a long time ago. Safety first. Oh, there's something large. Ruler. Now that is not certified. I don't know if you can see that. That ruler is not a certified item, but it's large. Yeah, I like my chair. Chair. Oh, rocking chair. Largest. Boom. Over here. Is that the chimes? Yep. Wind chimes. Boom. There's three. World's largest you can see in the back. Claim to fame. It's a big old chair. Look at the dogwoods that are blooming. Or is that pear tree? Bradford pear? Sure. Sure. Go ahead. World's largest. Oh, going right in the sun. Largest key. There's four certifieds. There's a big bell. I'd love to have that big bell. I've got, I've got plans for my bells coming up with Mason on my, on my channel. I'm sorry, Mason, if you're watching this. Probably not. But me and Mason are going to do a project together next week. There's a lot of equipment there too. 
parental JJ. Yeah, they're well they have the best antlers though. Look at those. Oh my goodness. I love those. Well that was a fun little excursion, tourist excursion. Oh bump. Excursion in Casey, Illinois. Was it? Yeah, thank you. I mean, we saw like four of the 11 certified items. So, always room for improvement. Maybe we can catch the next seven uh, another day. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, Mr. C and I are headed home. It's a two hour drive. So, headed home. I'll be back in Casey in 24 hours with Hunter. And then Mr. C will join us in a couple days. Well, we got practice day, we got race day, we got the inside of the trailer still to tackle. And I got auction day. Mr. C has auction day on Friday. That's why he is going to be um, meeting up with us this weekend on a different day. That's why we had to drop it off. But he, um, what are you looking for? Do you know anything that's going to be at this auction? Whatever, that's got your eye? Whatever, deals? Whatever deal deals and steals. Deals and steals. Um, that's because a lot of equipment has gone out. A lot of big items yeah, have yeah. left the lot. They're still there, but a lot of them paid for. Oh yeah, a lot of them paid for. The 350 excavator is going out. The 210 excavator is going. 300 excavators gone. The TD 25 is gone. How you feel about that? How I, do you feel about it? I don't feel good about it. No, I feel good about it. I'm, I'm torn. Why? I'm torn because it's my first dozer that I ever operated. Hey, there's another one just like it out back. Lower hours though, right? Uh, maybe according to the meter, but yeah. it's a little better shape. Okay. But are you going to have to redo the grousers? No. A lot of no welding repairs on that? We may do some line boring on them. Yeah. Okay. Right. But it'll be for sale too. I promise you that. because me and dad were here yesterday. So now I'm back with the writer. We haven't seen you for a minute. Hunter, what you been up to? I'm trying to stay away from your channel. <laughs> don't, don't be like your father. Don't be like dad. What you working on? My dirt bike. Okay, walk us through it. You're getting the bike prepped for practice tomorrow. Um, yep, now what'd you have to do? Change oil, check chains? Oil, chain. Just shake bolts and then I'm bleeding the forks. Okay. <laughs> oh, because you, is that for, because they're air forks or, or are they yeah. oil forks? Air. Air forks? Stocks, oil. What okay. you ride here? A 252 stroke KTM? Yeah. 903? Yeah. All right, and you're in two classes, the 250C class and the 450C class? But tomorrow's practice, what do you have to get in this race this weekend to qualify, like guarantee qualify for the regional? Eight? Yeah, top eight? Is it? Yeah, guaranteed. I don't know, I just ride. <laughs> That's right, ride your best. Don't focus on results and just ride your best. I love it. All right, well, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna check in with some footage of you riding, at, but it's gonna be on next week's video, or no, a teaser video next week. Because I'm gonna wrap up this video with, a um a walk through the camper the inside of the camper all right and then i'm gonna have a short video with your practice your race and we're gonna go check out some of those big items in casey on saturday all right i'm so <laughs> happy stupid certified they're certified they're certified i've made a list of only three items that i really want to go see you want to hear what they are what are they Mailbox. Mailbox. I want to see the mailbox. Mm. 
Teeter totter. Yeah. That. I've never even heard of that. I mean, that they had that there, and then maybe the golf club. Golf tee. Go There's a golf club and a golf tee. Pretty sure it's just a tee. I'll fact check it. <laughs> no, I know you will. I know you will. I can't right now because I'm using my phone for other purposes. But I'm gonna check in. We picked up a hitchhiker. We did. Uh, so yeah. Oh. It's just something. someone new to the channel. Everyone needs one of these in their life. It's a Meemaw. Meemaw. Yeah, we we picked up a Meemaw. So pit let's crew. Pit <laughs> I'm the pit chief. We're not making it very far in a NASCAR if you hire us. <laughs> That's for sure. I do my best and I'm here for morale. Okay. Somewhere. No, I'm gonna build you up. I'm here to support you and cheer and um, whatever you need, I'm here. If you need me to rebuild the motor, I'll no. do that. No. If you need me to um, switch out tires, I can do that. You're doing good standing there. I'll say that. I will provide the snacks and the, the meals. That's that's a pretty good effort. That, that will okay. do. We're really glad to see you though, because you're a full-time student, and then um, you are doing this racing um, season to qualify for the national race, and um, we'll probably see more of you this summer though, right? I don't know. Okay, well, you've grown since the last time you were on my channel. Pretty sure you just got shorter. <sighs> Is he not handsome, folks? No. <laughs> no. Okay, good luck tomorrow. You're gonna be there. I know, but I'm, <laughs> on behalf of my viewers and fans and friends, we're telling you good luck. I know it. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna go through the camper real quick. First, it has two bathrooms, which is nice, because there's, yep, two, Hunter says two. One um, for Clinton and I, and then one for the boys. So here's the first, I guess, main bathroom. It's a nice stand-up shower. Yep, single toilet and vanity. And then that would be the only con, but that's a con in any camper is that to get around. This is a king size camper, but to make the bed, it's really hard to get around. But this is a slide that goes out, pushes out and makes room. King size bed with storage up above. Um, and then this is the closet space. I'm leaning back on the, what are you doing? huh? Oh. Well, I'm trying to get a full, huh? And then this is the model that we went with that is two bunks because I thought that the boys would love the bunks. You guys really never, that we use it. Well, we use it for storage now, but I really thought that that's what you guys would do would be sleep in the. Yeah, it is pretty nice when it's but, open. Yeah, but we just use it kind of for storage and as a closet. And then a second bunk down here. And that's Meemaw's bed. The hitchhiker. The hitchhiker. <laughs> Yeah, so we've got a double bunk and then there's the storage underneath. You wanna show your bathroom and then a mirror here. And then another full bath with another shower, full shower. But it's nice because then the boys can use this one all their own in a vanity. I mean, not real, not real. Okay, Hunter, let me out, bub. <laughs> yeah, you're a knucklehead. Um, oh yeah, nice home toilet. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just nice. They are, um, there's a water pump they have to turn on when we're not hooked, like we're just um, dry camping right now. So then you have your flush options there. And, oh, and pocket doors. So there's a pocket door right here that comes out and a pocket door for Mr. C and I's bedroom. But you don't, you don't sleep here though. I mean, you guys, you, can't. you can't, well, you can't now because Mima's with yeah, us and there she is. Oh, look at her. Her's a sweetheart. Really yeah. Uh, she's not my sister. She's my mom. <laughs> well, still, I mean, I get, they get called that she's my sister because she's so young looking. But all this storage up above, Mima, with all snacks and such. Uh -huh. No, I mean, I'm just talking that I'm walking them through the camper, <laughs> Mima. <laughs> yeah. And then we're going to do a puzzle here. She's not really good YouTube. Mima, I know. I'm not, <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. But um, it is nice. It has all these like USB jacks too. Oh, <laughs> huh? USB jacks, lights, sconces, 
Um, oh, something over here. So this is pantry. And this was an option Mr. C talked me into because I'm really glad he did. So that's a nice upgrade option. A full size um, residential refrigerator. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. And this is just the little kitchenette here. And we went with a theater seating. Mima, and yeah, isn't she a doll? Then this little accordion that goes down that protects or um, separates the cab and the, uh, you know, from the back here for light and all the shades are down. So, and then this dinette can fold down into kind of a makeshift bed. That doesn't fit me. That you no, you've slept in it, I've slept in it, but it's mostly Sydney's bed. It's her size. It's Sydney's size. <laughs> yep. And then this is a, I would say a full size up there, or queen. It's extra long. I would, huh? Oh. What? And then <clears throat> these pull out, which is nice. This has all of our puzzles in it. We love puzzles. Well, I love only puzzles that are 300 pieces or less. Yeah. I don't want a super big challenge, but I just want like a, a little um it's pretty disappointing to be honest no it's not it gives me a little break a little um little vacation for my brain not a real challenge. okay well i <laughs> i like it the tv in the corner um cabinetry above what mm -hmm. and lighting so just to recap like i'm kind of like mr c there's not much i can complain about this motorhome it serves us well um a lot of room for all the people that um, come stay with us. Is like, it comfortable? Like the hitchhikers, yeah. <laughs> like those, those <laughs> randoms that we pick up on the way. We'd be so lucky, Meemaw. I know. We'd be so lucky to have you. Um, but it has plenty of room for everyone. I can't really think of much con, maybe a little bit more storage, or maybe I could just use the storage that I have a little bit more effectively. Yeah, that might be, that might be true. It has floor heat. We're waiting for that to like kick in real good. Cause it's kind of a little chillier, chilly. But um, I don't really can't think of anything that I would change. Uh, maybe do a solid couch instead of these theater seats with the console so that more people could sit down on the couch. Cause it really, then it's just me and Mr. C and then everyone else. Um, like when we're on vacation, the boys and kids have to sit at the dining room table or the kitchenette table. So that might be one thing. I'm not sure. I'd probably, keep, I'd be interested to see what kind of options there would be if we didn't do the bunks. We thought the boys would use those bunks more, but if that could be turned into um, good storage, I might, it might be. But I will say, since this is our first motor home and we've only had fifth wheels before, this is a lot more stable. So if people are walking around, you cannot feel them necessarily throughout the whole camper. Would you, you wouldn't agree with that? No. Okay, I. It's better than the fifth than the fifth wheel though. Yeah. Yeah, definitely better as far as stability um, underneath you. So that's it. If you have any other questions? Pop a comment below. But. <laughs> What is, she, what is wrong, Hunter? No. I get so much judgment. It's I'm doing rough. the best I can. I know it might be rough, but it is what it is. So on Saturday, we're gonna go check out some of those big things, Mima. Yeah, that'd yeah. be great. It'd be great, we're gonna see the mailbox. mailbox. We're gonna see whatever else we can see, but the mailbox for sure, the teeter-totter, and the golf tee slash club. We don't know which one it is. It's a golf tee. But if you want to join the journey and see what we get up to this weekend and watch Hunter with his practice, with his racing, then um, make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.